Hello and welcome to Conexão Britânica, the biggest British English channel in Brazil. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to improve the use of will and going to when you express in the future. So, grab a pencil, an eraser, and a sheet of paper or a notebook to take note of everything I'm gonna say. And let's go for the video. The first thing we need to know and we need to keep in mind is the context where the future is applied. And you can say, okay, this is very stupid because we know when the future is, yeah? It's not now, it's not yesterday, it's tomorrow. Yeah, but also we have some contexts where things happen in the future, don't we? For example, if you plan something, but you are not 100% sure that your plan is going to happen according to what you thought, or if you have just decided to do something in in a few moments or in a month or next week this is different right or if those plans have no chance of being changed or cancelled or overruled yeah or if your decision was taken uh, weeks ago days ago hours ago and just now you are on an ongoing situation that for in a few minutes the, those plans were going to happen so considering all of this context i gave you would you say that i will use the same structure for all of them if your answer is no you are 100 percent correct because the first two contexts i said the one with you plan something that you're not 100% sure that will happen and you, or you just decided something to happen in a few minutes or in a few weeks or days or so. For those things, you use will. So if you say, for example, I think I'll travel in my next vacation, it says you're planning to, although you haven't bought the tickets, you haven't decided where you're going, you haven't haven't decided who you're going with, so you just thought, I think I'll travel. Nice. To where? With whom? Or how am I going to pay for it? I don't know. Maybe. So you have no idea yet. So it's still in a, I mean, in a very basic stage. So for this situation, you use will. Or if you just decided to do something, for example, I will invite 30 people to my party. You just decided now. Okay, we're planning my party. We're going to have a party. Nice. But how many people are we going to get to, to receive in our house? Oh, I don't know. I'll invite 30. So 30 people are going to come to your party. We don't know it yet. But you will invite them. So you decided you would do it. Will you invite all the 30? We don't know it yet also. So we, we can't say for sure. On the other hand, if you say something like, on the other hand, if your plans can't have any chance of being changed or cancelled or even overruled, then you use going to. For example, I'm going to talk to him right now. So you took your decision, you stood up, and you're on your way to talk to the person, to talk to this guy in that very moment. So there's no way in the world to change that because you took your decision and it's going to happen quite soon. Or also, if your decision was taken before the fact itself, the, before the present day, you haven't taken this decision now. You have taken this decision like a week ago, yeah? For example, in, the, in this situation, last week, we decided that we are going to visit our family on vacation. So today, I'm just saying that it's already planned, and we took those, this decision last week. So we are going to. Nothing is going to change it. We have the tickets, or you, we organize everything with the car, and it's going to happen no matter what. Yeah. So take note of this this context because they will make a huge difference in 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 the context you say, and a huge difference in your speech because uh, the message behind the words, I mean, behind will, behind going to, they are much more important than you memorizing like, oh, will is for future and going to, I don't know. It's like, no, both we use for future, but going to is for a more immediate future. It's something that is going to happen right now or in a few minutes, in a few months, in a few weeks, and everything is set. On the other hand, Will is for a distant future where your planning is ongoing 
and nothing is 100% sure. Once it's 100% sure, you switch to go into. And of course, we, uh, we talked so far about the things on the affirmative form, which is going to happen or will happen. So far, you already know what difference they have between them. But what if we have to use them in the negative form? What's going to happen? Well, for will, as same modal verbs, as the, in the same form as, the, as all the modal verbs in English, will receive the not, the, the, the negation particle. So the, the, the word we use to create the negative sentence. Yeah, so it will be like, I will not, for example, I think I won't travel in, on my next vacation. Or, I think I will not travel on my next vacation. So, both forms are correct. Want is the contracted form, which is, there's no problem at all for you to use any of them. Yeah. And in interrogative form, I mean, when you want to ask a question, yeah, will will be used like any other modal verb. So, it's going to start your sentence. For example, will you travel on your next vacation? Yes, I will. No, I won't. And when we talk about going to, we always have the verb to be with us. The verb to be is part of this, is, is be going to, literally. We just say the shorter form, going to, and it's fine, but verb to be is there. And once verb to be is there, not only in this situation, but any other situation where verb to be is included, verb to be does all the work. I mean, receives the negative form, starts the sentence with the interrogative forms, yeah? You can check on the simple present. You can check on the present continuous, past continuous, or whatever. They will be like that. Verb to be always does the work, always receives the negative, always starts the questions. So, be going to have has the verb to be. That's what's going to happen. I am not going to talk to him right now, which means no way, no chance for me to stop what I'm doing and talk to the guy right now. Or, are you going to talk to him right now? So, so, and, and yeah, it has to happen now, right? So that's the context with the structure we have to follow, right? And that's for the video today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have any doubt, just pause, come back, watch it again. And if there's any chance that you couldn't understand everything I say, just please leave a comment below explaining your doubt. And I'll make sure to explain it again in another form for you, all right? Thank you for your view. Don't forget to give a like to this video, to subscribe to the channel, and to click on the bell button not to lose any of the new videos that's coming up every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Saturday. All right? Thanks again, and I see you in the next class or any other video. Okay? Bye-bye. Take care.